Hi, I'm Kat. So today I'm just showing you guys how to make some of the simple props that I've used in previous videos, such as the crib decorations in the baby crib video, the books on the bookshelf in the bookshelf video, and also the lamp on the nightstand in the nightstand video. Additionally, you will see some projects that I'll be using in future videos. Now these are just store-bought, but I wanted to feature them here because I did get several questions on them. This is a baby washcloth that I use as a baby blanket. I do like these more for baby, for miniature towels. They're thinner and they have a tighter loop. These are the ends of various popsicle sticks that I've used for some of the projects in the past. So I just glue them together in groups of two or three. Clip them together because you want to make sure they're really smushed together with no spaces and gaps in between. Lightly file them and then paint them on three of the four sides. Then, I found several of the books on Google Images that I wanted to make miniature versions of and printed them out in a smaller scale and then put a piece of clear packing tape on top. Then I cut them out and creased them along the spine. You can also do this with just solid colors as well. Glue those onto the white blocks and you have a selection of books for your new library. I rescued these Christmas bulbs from the trash. Frequently I do use crushed glass in my projects and yes, I do crush it myself. But in addition to that, I thought that this would be useful for a lamp in this case. So the first thing I needed to do was to cover um, the electrical components on the inside since I couldn't pull out the top of it easily. And I'm, in order to do that, I'm just gonna stipple over it with two layers of pearlized paint. But I also had a lamp where I used silver. Then using a ball of polymer clay or air clay or salt clay or whatever you have, just press down on it lightly, put a bulb on the inside and just kind of push it in place so it has a little round section on the end and then bake it or air dry it and paint it. Glue the bulb to the stand and that will keep it standing straight. And then I used a little bit of cardstock, but you can even use stiffened fabric. And put a toothpick right there on the inside. I glued mine halfway down and then I glued it on top of the bulb. Then I used four pick sticks and I cut off the very tips of them. Then I put a small piece connecting two together and then smaller pieces on the side connecting the other legs to it. This will become a plant stand later. For the planters themselves, I used a caps from Hairspray, a toothpaste cap, Measuring cups from Children's Tylenol and measuring cups from the NyQuil that I was swigging a few weeks ago. For any of the ones that I'm going to paint, I decided to tape over them. Plastic does not take the paint very well, so you have to go through several coats. In order to keep that from being an issue, I just used the tape instead, but I also used that to grip on this rope as well. and just take the rope, which is just a string of like twine, and just wrap it around the um, container.
I used six additional pick sticks and cut them down to fit over the hairspray cap. You want them all cut to the same size and then you can start gluing them onto the side of the cap. And then for the toothpaste cap, instead of having a serrated outside texture, I decided to go over that with some wood putty, and that way I have a solid shape to paint. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll have a new video up in a couple of days. Bye!